Hey everybody, sorry about that. Had to make that adjustment there. It's Farmer Mike from Earthspring Farm and uh, I'm just doing a little video here for the CSA. Week nine, can you believe that? We're almost halfway through the official CSA season. Um, I did just get off the phone with Morgan and we're talking about extending that, trying to extend it all year really, just keep it going. So uh, we'll see what happens come the uh, late fall and winter here, but uh, we're gonna do our best to at least keep, at least keep some some sort of home delivery going or some sort sort some sort of service going. We're gonna be at Mount Pleasant Farmers Market all year. Uh, the farm is open all year, the farm stores. So that's you know it's there's really no reason for us to stop here. But uh, um, just wanted to give you guys an update here about about what I'm up to here. Uh, we're all kind of going through this uh, COVID thing together, and it's been tough. Uh, it's been tough more uh, on like a personal level because of the kids. We've got two daughters, uh, nine and fourteen, and they uh, they're getting restless. You know, we try to give them as much. I give them as much farm work as I can give them to do, right? As much as I can push them just to get to, to keep them to keep them physically active. My oldest daughter's you know, bu bugging me when we're going to go back to the jujitsu gym and do jujitsu and they do judo also. But, uh, you know, we, we, we sympathize, with, we sympathize a lot more with you guys who got to stay home and they're stuck, stuck in the suburbs of the city or whatever. Although it has started to open up and I think people are smarter about how they go out or whatever and wear a mask and everything. But we're also waiting for a mountain bike to come in that we ordered for my older daughter. I mean, you cannot. We walked into the bike shop a couple of weeks ago, and you couldn't find any bikes. There, it was hard. There was the shoot. We had to order hers, and we're waiting. We're waiting two months for her bike to come in. So, anyway, we're busy out here. The kids are helping me. Harper and Sage. They're both working their tails off. We've got two acres here that I just got ready this morning. Um, well, it's almost ready. It got dissed under, so we just kind of work the weeds under and back behind me there's a big field here half of that's planted with your winter squash uh, fall kale fall broccoli fall cauliflower and then the other half of that field will be planted with uh, napa cabbage and daikon radish uh, that we're going to do for uh, uh, friends of ours at number one sons and number one sons is a pickle maker down in dc and we sell, we sell a, a lot of what they make through our CSA. If you haven't tried it yet, I, I really think you should try it. If you like fermented products like sauerkraut, kimchi, pickled beets, whatever. It's, there's, so much, there's so many different things that they do and they, and they, and they, and they do such an incredible job at it. Um, and so we grow uh, some beets for them, although not yet this year, we haven't gotten any. Uh, we're looking for a fall crop of beets for them. But we do do a lot of Napa cabbage and daikon also, and Napa's for their uh, kimchi. So uh, we're in the middle of the summer season, so obviously we have a lot of summer crops coming in. Um, this week we'll have wild watermelons and some eggplant to the orders, and then next week we should have plenty of eggplants for everybody if you, if you like eggplant. Um, but uh, I think the season's going well. It's been really hot and dry. We are able to control the water here. We have got a we have a wonderful well. The, the farm sits on top of a huge aquifer, so we're able. We have and we have a we have a massive well um, that gives us about 300 350 gallons a minute. And uh, but we measured it at 300, but we couldn't even keep up with that what the measurement was. But we have plenty of water, and so we put we put a lot of water out obviously because obviously, vegetables need water. Um, and uh, it's been good. I mean, there's been very low disease actually because of this drought, right? So we don't have a lot of disease sitting on the plants. The plants are really clean. I haven't had to spray. I haven't even sprayed once this year uh, for any kind of disease or insects. Um, of course, when we do, when I do spray, I, I use uh, we follow the we follow organic standards for that, and so we, we will use uh, organic pesticides and organic fungicides. Um, and of course, never any herbicides. There is, there is no herbicides. So I, I, I do all mechanical cultivation for all these fields in the fall. And in the spring, we use biodegradable plastic mulch that we lay out. So you'll see beds and beds of, of biodegradable plastic. And that's all, and all that, and all those crops are drip, drip, uh, drip irrigated, so. Um, yeah, if you guys ever have any questions about how I grow and stuff, just shoot me a text or uh, stop up to the farm sometime. You can't pop into the farm, but you can come out 
you can come out if we schedule a time for you guys to visit. So, all right, everybody, that's five minutes. Gotta go, and we'll see you here next week. Thanks.